when we miss having our presentations, we love to talk to people around. That's our time. That's that's party time that we do basically <laughs> in between the long presentations. By the way, thank you very much, Ting. It's always a pleasure having you. It's always a pleasure listening, interacting to intera your interaction with the kids and the questions that you raise to them. It's always a pleasure um, hearing you with the kids. We yeah, learn from you. <laughs> I just want to with, uh, continue with Miss Miss Kans, uh how to say perspective that is one this time when talking to the kids they are not just uh, give the answer quite quickly but I think this time we feel that kids are communicating with us yes so we are re really communicating they are not answering questions from teachers or from from hosts or something <laughs> they are yes. communicating. Yes. So I think that is really good. That's that's what would because if you remember last time when we were having gift and there, there was this one thing that um, Julie asked us that while we're maybe uh, maybe one moment from gift that we can take, it is because it is the kind of um, growth that we can observe in our presenters because some of the presenters come every time maybe or every other gift or every alternate gift or we see them growing. We see these kids not just growing taller, but we see these talking, communicating to us, being a family to us, um, coming to us with their ta talks and ideas and sharing with us those things. So that's one of the most wonderful aspect of the gift that it is just becoming a family. <laughs> yeah. So, and thank you, Shay. Germany, right? Sorry, no, sorry, sorry, I missed it. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, Pusha, are you in Germany now? Yeah, I'm in Germany. <laughs> I'm still in Germany. I'm studying. Yeah, good. I'm studying here. It's, it's a little bit challenging. <laughs> okay, so our next presenter is Pusha now because it, the Thank challenges. You, Let's talk about challenges. <laughs> we right, are so going I'm to. Now I'm leaving. It's a really nice time <laughs> with you guys. Bye. Bye, Ting. Bye, 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 bye. Good luck with your day. Jia, um, Bushra is studying and you are a student. So now, now it's over to you <laughs> to mm -hmm. just throw your questions to Bushra about her studies and what were the challenges that she's facing because we are yeah. still missing on our next presenter. That's Edward, right? Let me introduce myself. Uh, I am I am Bushra. I'm living in, um, uh, in Germany right now. I'm studying artificial intelligence. Um, in Germany, yeah. So it's a little bit challenging, but it's affordable, still affordable. And um, yeah, I was working in Kids and Codes, um, uh, an organization dedicated for uh, teaching kids uh, innovation and in, uh, programming and uh, anything related to technology. And now I'm focusing on my study. <laughs> I decided to focus on my study. Well, Bisha, I have really some questions for you because you hit my nerve saying you're studying artificial artificial intelligence. Is it is it this artificial intelligence in education or generally in some other machine learning or whatever it was? Yeah, it's it's some it's something related to machine learning and not not to the education actually. It's a um, okay. branch of machine learning, data science, and manipulating and the processing data or big data. Okay, because just recently these days, I get to know more about uh, chat GPT kind of yeah. and all those. Yeah. And as educators, those were like, really? Okay. Did you, did you try those it? Those were like, kind of, yeah, I, I just get to find out those. And Fascinating. Out audience. It is, but to be honest, at the, at the, the, the more uh, we found it interesting as kind of innovators and as kind of educationists or maybe learners, but when we yeah. think of it from the perspective of being a teacher or maybe educationist and all those stuff, yeah. it is really kind of vulnerability. It is the kind of kind of a threat maybe to, yes. so, so, so while you are a student to it, um, when we talk about artificial intelligence in education, especially where we are trying or we are creating softwares like chat jeopardy and all those which are like um trying to even overcome everything every possible yeah. and all those stuff. exactly so what's the rescue because when you are a learner you also know what's the rescue how to like rescue the situation or how to rescue those threats maybe mm -hmm. you know the the chat GPT itself is something like um, like a baby small baby <laughs> learns what you tell 
Tell it, tell yes, him. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So when you tell him so I, many this is, data. We can understand. Literally, Bishra, only a couple of people maybe who are into maybe mind sciences, who are really emotionally intelligent or who are maybe uh, probably true educationists from like years and years can tell that this, the chat GPT just tell you a reflection of your own thoughts in a different way maybe, yeah. right? Yeah. It's a reflection of what you input and exactly, yes, exactly. what you input. However, uh, because this is a global world and the way we, I mean, it's open. Our to last all. generation, Vishra, was in information revolution, right? Yeah. And in information revolution, we were not bothered to to memorize a lot of things, right? Because yeah, that exactly. memory we depend on yeah, we, 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 we the internet. a lot on exactly from the data that we collect. Mm -hmm. Now I mean, there are multiple thoughts on it, but maybe I'm also like thinking now, because when you have a lot of data, now are we going to go back on the memory thing? Because mm -hmm. uh, we, we need to know if it's right, if it's wrong or whatever it is. We need to synthesize it. We need to analyze it. We need to evaluate it as well. So are we going to go back on the memory thing or or probably is there anything else that we're going to move forward to? So this is something very, because uh, um, when people do not have memory and they do not know much of the knowledge stuff, the fact stuff, the thing, the opinion is a different form of thing, but the fact stuff, so whatever they'll be presented with, mm -hmm. without knowing the source of it, without not being able to analyze the source of it, not mm -hmm. being able to synthesize the source of it, they'll be just able to, they'll just like inhale it, uh, be, be impressed with it, or maybe... Yeah. Uh, like kind of what what what's this all thing i'm like totally i think i think it has a, um, as you have said it has a, a, a bad effect for example uh, last week i had an an, an, an homework in in my uh, in my university and i found a hard question and i decided to go to start the gbt and ask it what <laughs> is the uh, i i answered i asked it the, the the question in the homework and the the chat gbt answered me specifically and summarized what's uh, what what's on the internet and summarized in in a, a good way in a summary yeah in okay. an essay and and give it to me the the question here and the risk here is what you have said it is so risky for the this generation to depend on these uh, um, these tools because uh, I I heard I have read an essay that say um, uh, ChatGPT will be banned in in schools so it's it it gives the answer it gives you the answers for any example. No, but Michelle, listen, 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 dear, banning something in school. How for how long can we like just mitigate the effects of those? It's not. Like, it's not effective. Are, yes, it's not. Yeah, effective. We, it's it's never effective because we, we need to never, deal with it. We need to. We running away from a challenge uh, is never a solution to it, right? It's just yeah. like we are, we are actually giving it a chance to grow and to uh, to be maybe giantize and all that stuff. And when we face it, we are so weak in front of it that we can never face it. So yeah. Uh, yeah, we are still with you. Do not worry. We, we we just went through this because our next presenter was not here. So we were taking this opportunity to to interact and chat. So you can always contribute. We are talking about this artificial intelligence software that provide us when we give an input of our thought, it gives an output of every possible data that is yeah. produced on the internet in every different in a unique way every time. Yeah. So that's the kind of a software we are just talking about and the threats and vulnerability of it. But be sure, listen, the, the, the thing is that um because especially if I talk about my part of the world, right? Yeah. And I'm really concerned about underdeveloped part of the people, underdeveloped yeah. countries, maybe, or the countries who are already lacking in in really the, the quality of education. Yeah. Because we're already dealing with people we're uh, making assignments from someone or probably uh, maybe just copying or this copyright yeah. thing, or maybe who own the word kind of thing is a challenge already right so yeah. in that in those areas this can be a kind of a god right where you just like get everything ready made and present it and what are you then who what what is it going to make you as a person maybe? yeah so banning this um probably will will give it and and or more possibilities to giantize and grow itself <laughs> yeah we're just like able to cater it
Yeah, exactly. I, I really like. Uh, do you exactly. have, is do you have any experiences with artificial intelligence in your projects that you are doing, or you're planning to, or what you know more about it? You muted, yeah. Yeah. Um. So I have included artificial intelligence in one of the apps I have made. So, uh, you scan like the, uh, there's a camera. You take a photo of a fruit or a vegetable, and then it tells you if it's rotten or fresh. Oh, oh wow. nice! And what the technology you have used? Yeah, I, I have like um trained the app. Like I put photos of rotten food and fresh food, and then yeah. Um, using like the photos it recognizes if the fruit is rotten or fresh yeah exactly this is what we call in machine learning the supervised learning to provide the machine or the computer with with uh, examples for the fresh food and example for the 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 yeah, fresh food i'm not <laughs> the i'm not I'm, I'm not sure what the vocabulary then the the computer learns discuss, uh, uh, um, compare, compare the, the, how the fresh food could look and the other could look, and then decide what is the fresh food, uh, whether it is, it's a fresh food or not, exactly. And uh, this is, uh, we call it in artificial intelligence, is a classification. So it will classify the, the input photos or images to one class or the other. Yeah, and it's 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 actually um, most most companies, most of the companies in around the world, especially Google, uh, benefit from the classi classification uh, uh, algorithm to make more 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 than fifty uh, percent of their money. So when they when they uh, show you the uh, items on the internet to to buy or when they decide this email is good or not or they depend on the classification in its symbol version to make money. Then it comes the the uh, the advanced algorithms and other and the algorithm to to gain more money. But you can you can imagine that they use uh, these uh, 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 very simple algorithm in in machine learning to gain most of their income or their money yes mm -hmm. but but Gia, i'm really uh, uh i mean this was one of the examples but what other examples uh, of artificial intelligence have you been into and what what will you suggest your co-friends or maybe students who are listening to you what some what are some applications that they can use to get introduced them to themselves about the artificial intelligence and all that um like um from like the projects i've made um like i think this is the only example i think of uh, artificial intelligence i will try to make more and mm -hmm. also that app is uh, the, the that app it is published on google play store um for android phones and also like Another example of artificial intelligence that um, I know is like, or that can be done is like, where, because, like, um, they, there can be a camera in front of buildings that want people to wear a mask and then they recognize them. If somebody is not wearing the mask, then that person yeah. cannot enter. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And what are some softwares or applications that you might be suggesting? Um, the app that I developed, it was uh, using MIT App Inventor. And um, I created an extension with all the uh, photos. Nice. Very nice. You know, I have I've I've been teaching my students to work on MIT App Inventor and using technologies uh, from AI. So I I appreciate your work. <laughs> okay, so do we have our next presenter here? 
Raymond? Uh, Bashar, did you promote Raymond? Yeah. Is, is uh, that no, it's not me. Him? No. You? I, I think, um, no, I have, I have to, um, Alaira is, Alaya. because they have their presentation at 12.30, right? So we, we, we still have, we still are waiting for Manish Kumar from India. Uh, it's his time if he's here. Okay, let me show. Before the next presenter joins, I would also like to mention that I'm also learning German now in my school. Wow, Jia. With wow. Alaira, Melon, and team from Wonderful Made Kids Global, we hear you and we'll welcome you at your time. Thank you very much for being at time and uh, in fact, before time, we heard you and we are going to be sharing or, pr or promoting you at your own time. So uh, just stay there with us as panelists and we'll, we'll, we'll promote you as presenter soon. Thank you. Yeah, Gia. So yes, you're learning German. So interesting. Ashra, you both can be a good team, right? Because you're in Germany at the moment, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I'm studying oh, German wow. right so now. So you can ask Gia to tell <laughs> some words about, right? It's... it's um. It's not easy to learn German, but it's it's some it's a little bit interesting more than English. Systematic you can learn in a systematic way, so you could talk at the end <laughs> without listening and uh, uh, reading so much. So it, it's all about uh, um, the grammars. They do have uh, um, a lot of grammars <laughs> more than English. Uh, and I started to learn on uh, Duolingo. Yeah, uh, I passed the first. Uh, the first level and i am now preparing for the next level mm -hmm. wow interesting Gia, what mm -hmm. level are you on this language learning um i uh since it's it's in my school this is the first year i've been learning it and i am still on um a 1.1 oh a 1.1 uh there's have you watched it? Watched it? There's this web series called Nico's Wig. It's in German. Oh, actually, no. You could talk about it uh, if you want. Or, or provide us with, provide me with, with, a, with a link or something. Uh, if it is. Uh, it's useful. And you can tell yeah, it if basically useful. if it's useful for everyone who wants to learn German. Maybe yes. Over here yes. other students as well. So, Gia, you can always tell them. Yes. One second. I'll just share this link. Yeah, thank you. Wow. <clears throat> So, meanwhile, we are just... Uh, I've requested uh, Alaira and team that if they are ready to present 10 minutes before so that we can, if maybe Manish comes within the time, we can just switch the timing, right? So that we can accommodate everyone. That's what I'm planning. So let's see, let us, okay. Thank you, Gia, you have the link. Uh, yeah, so this web series is is about like a boy who's oh, from nice. Spain and comes to German Germany and um, he knows like very little German and then he loses his bag. Oh, wow. nice. Very interesting. Yeah, I will. Uh, and then more. Uh, on the side, there's like um, questions about every, questions after every clip. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, I'm, I'm reviewing the website and I found it so useful, actually. All right. I guess that was that was meant to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jake. See who we have. 
So when Gia is here, Jake's always here, right, Jake? <laughs> and since we were talking about artificial intelligence, I guess that's what brought you here, <laughs> <laughs> right? 